Good morning, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. We are going to attempt to start driving. And I'm going to go over to my delivery place. And the reason why I'm saying I'm going to attempt is because... Uh, I kind of got sick this last night here. We've been to the bathroom I think like five times already over throughout the night. Okay, yeah, so now I, I, I am totally exhausted, weak. I have no energy. And this load should have been there already. I'm not even there yet. I'm still a hundred miles away yet. But I sent this batch a message letting them know that I got sick here last night. I was doing pretty good there yesterday all day long and the day before I uh, I was having the same problem the day before there in the morning and and I was good all day there Monday. I was good all uh, all day yesterday until the evening there. All of a sudden I started getting sick there and had to go to the bathroom a few times there last night and then in the middle of the night there I woke up had to go to the bathroom. And same thing this morning I sat probably on the toilet there for about probably 20 minutes. And let me tell you, that's not fun. Yeah. But we're gonna attempt to try and get over to our delivery place here as soon as we can. And go from there, we still don't have no reload anyways. In a quarter of a mile, take the entrance to the left on I-90 East. We're not really in a rush. Anyways, to go get a reload anywhere, so I'm sort of suspecting anyways that they'll give me a reload right out of that place anyways. That's what usually happens. But we'll see. Right now I'm just super weak. Take the entrance to the left on I-90 East. I probably wouldn't go nowhere today. But I want to try and keep the customers happy and I also need to work so I can make some money. Been off for four days already pretty much this last weekend so uh, or at least three and a half days. I kind of need to get back on the road and work pay for all the expenses that I have accumulated here over the last couple of days or last couple of weeks I should say so let's hope for the best continue on this road for seven hope we don't crap ourselves in the pants we can do that without doing that a successful day. That's what I would say. <laughs> yeah, anyways, we'll get out of here and we'll show you what we can today. I hope, I'm hoping it's going to be an okay day, but can't make no promises today. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. We have made our delivery. Yeah, it's starting to drizzle a little bit up here. There's always something going on up here, right? Well, the way it works is up here uh, at this place where I deliver my load is I just drop my trailer. And since I uh, sent this batch a message this morning that I didn't really feel very well there, especially overnight, I didn't sleep very good. Been kind of sick here the last day again. 
they said well we do have a load coming out of this place tomorrow I think tomorrow afternoon the load comes out of there I think that's the way I remember it and so he said uh, oh if you want to take some time off he said you can he said you can uh, take some time off and I will give you that load tomorrow afternoon uh, or he just said tomorrow but I kind of know it's tomorrow afternoon usually when that load gets ready so uh, I said yeah sure why not especially if you allow me to look uh, to uh, deliver that load directly and he said yeah no problem so uh, we might be picking up that load here tomorrow and then uh, we're probably going to go to Madison Hat Alberta now that's a very nice long trip I looked it up already it's 1960 miles from here to uh, Madison Hat and that's if I cross at uh, North Portal which I probably end up doing so uh, what we're doing right now is going to a truck stop we're about 15 miles down the road there's a truck stop up here so we're bobtailing to uh, to the truck stop and then we'll be done for today so you won't see much of a driving video today but uh, we'll see we might meet up with somebody today again we'll just have to see I know I, I was talking to somebody earlier in the week uh, I think on Monday and they said to uh, let them know if I'm going to be in Buffalo and if I have time to they would like to meet up with me so uh, I'm gonna go down there to the truck stop and then uh, I'm gonna fire them a message and see where that will go from there I uh, wasn't sure if I was gonna have time or not but now I do know and we're gonna have time to meet up with somebody we got all day today and probably all the way till tomorrow after day, afternoon so I pretty much will have uh, a little more than 24 hours that I'll be sitting here but that's okay since I've been kind of under the weather here it's that's okay with me especially since I know I'm gonna have a fantastic trip after that you know it's like six, uh, 1960 miles up to there and I think it's about 800 miles to come back home yet or something like that close to 800 so I know I'll have a ton of miles when I pick up that load you know so let's get on down over there to the truck stop and we'll see what else we'll be able to show you if I feel a little bit better today or maybe tomorrow morning I might just clean my truck and at least we'll have a clean truck you know but anyways we'll go over there and see what else we'll be able to show you today alrighty ladies and gentlemen we are meeting up with Rick nice to meet nice you nice to meet you and we have just gotten our food over here and uh, we're gonna have us a good company over here and a good meal so we'll be right back you all here go ahead you have a um, uh, APU on yours right yes yes I do Does that work out pretty good Oh yes, for me it's been very good. It, uh, I think it was last year. I think Jukebox was just sharing one of my videos there uh, today or whatever, and uh, it had the clip on where I was fixing the APU unit. But yeah, all the time. I mean, it's just like anything else, right? We yeah. have to repair it. But yeah, it's. I didn't realize they had this big of a truck stop in the in the back here. Or truck parking no, you don't yeah. even really see it from the road yeah and even you know? when you come in here you don't really even realize that it's that big you know there's enough room to get in here though easy it right? is yeah it's fairly easily it's How about a little truck tour yeah <laughs> sure why not no problem i'll just open up the passenger side there mine all is right. uh, all uh manual oh. so you guys can see i'm just bobtail over here <laughs> we're gonna give this man a little tour of my truck Hopefully you won't be ashamed. <laughs> just watch you got the guy behind you there. <clears throat> there you go. Uh, let me just put a few things aside. Oh, They're all climbing. The yeah. Yeah. yeah, I had a guy backed into me there. Yeah, our truck is not super clean right now, but uh, oh yeah, there's a lot of room in here. Yeah, there actually is not too bad. <clears throat> is this what they call like a condo? Uh... I guess. I'm not sure exactly what they call it, but 
I like tons of room in there. Yeah. Let me just get that. This is my Wi-Fi system here. I don't, I don't want to slip on there. Yeah, exactly. That'll be a uh, disaster, yeah. <laughs> I'll have everybody on YouTube screaming at me. Yep. But, uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, got shoes got, on. yeah. got my bat up here. And, and this table actually uh, folds down as well. And can make Makes that another bed out of it. Yeah. Got a uh, fridge, a fridge in there. Fridge on this side here. Oh, like built in, huh? Yeah. It's got a freezer and everything. Yep. Yeah. <clears throat> I got my microwave over there. Cool. Yeah. So the APU runs the heat and everything? Yeah, I actually. Let me get my camera there. <clears throat> Put you up here. Oh, I see. That's where you put it up there when. Uh... Sometimes I do, I guess. Let me put it, put it up here so that people can actually see us, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, actually, I'm gonna show you. We do have a uh, a bunk heater, which is uh, right in there. That square thing right there. Oh yeah. Is the uh, is the bunk heater? But it runs off of the uh, APU unit, but it, it runs, uh, it, it heats through diesel. Yeah. And then I got the inverter right here. About 110 hydro in here. That's a big one too, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Well, you know, <laughs> you gotta run Sorry. a lot of stuff. That's a 1750 watt inverter. So it can. Did you put that in or do they? Uh... No, the owner operator that. And then had the truck at the time he put them in for all of his drivers so that oh, okay. way his drivers had a comfortable living and yeah it's got a lot of cabinet oh, space you know and it's nice tons of headroom yeah tons of headroom and they always say that this is one of the biggest sizes of the volvo anyways so they don't really make bigger cabs than these somebody that's never been in a truck it probably feels small but <laughs> no this is actually pretty big yeah you know? <clears throat> well for me it is when I when I decided to get a truck I figured I would go with the 780 right away you know that way uh -huh. it, uh, I could and take that's, my that's the uh... That's our satellite, yeah. Satellite system for the yeah. That's where you get your loads and all yeah, that. Yeah, this is our satellite. It's out. It's out right now. Because we've been sitting here for <laughs> since this uh -huh. morning, right? But it comes on automatically every once in a while. But yeah, no, this is pretty much where we got all our load info in there, and then got my CB radio up here, and this is my other camera right up here. Yeah. Oh, all right. That's where you usually will see pointing at me or sometimes I put it here and then you can see the whole cab from the okay. inside and yeah, that's my and dash then, cam that I got up there it records all the time so that way if something happens or somebody cuts me off and causes yeah, what happened accident. on the side here did that just recently yeah. happen no that one happened uh, already right at the beginning when I had this truck oh. uh, I was uh, parked uh, never been at that area before never since either but uh don't even remember exactly what highway number it was, but I know it was up there by when you come out of Delaware into Pennsylvania, up in that right. area up there. I was parked at a uh, petrol truck stop and, and uh, it was quite hilly up there. And so I drove in instead of backing in and I went inside and had me a bite to eat. And uh, I just walked back to my truck when I was done I didn't notice nothing I mean I didn't walk on the passenger mm -hmm. side nobody was still parked beside me and I went to bed next morning I get up and do my pre-trip and all I notice my signal light is not working I it tells me right away so I go out and check and somebody had backed into me and took off I guess never let me know so I still haven't never gotten it fixed it's supposed to cost me 1500 hours to get that fixed so I said well I'll have to wait. <laughs> yeah, I figured oh, I'll just put a new single light in there. I know it doesn't look good, but I don't really have fifteen hundred dollars to just spend on on yeah. a dent, you know. Well, it's a big dent, but still. It... Who rides in here? Nobody really. 
Yes, these are old seats. Did I... you switch the seats over? Yeah, I did. Oh, yeah. All right. Yeah. I don't know if you watched that video where I talked about it. I was going to switch them, and then th that one is shot completely. I mean, that one is. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah. No, that's okay. I. I figured, well, I'll change them over and then I'll wait till this year. And I talked about it, uh, that I was going to do that for the purpose of tax. Uh-huh. Taxes, because I done a lot of like repairs. Like the tires and that? Yeah, yeah, so I did the same thing with the tires. So tires were more important right now, but I was even talking to the wife the other day. I said, uh, pretty much next on the list is seats. Seats. Yeah. Because that's important too, you know. You sit in it all day long and... You, you sit crooked, you know, you're going to have that mm, problem. back and, yeah, everything. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But, I don't know, I mean, it's a nice design, you know, like uh, everything is faced towards yeah. you, you know, like on the truck. So that way everything is nice and reachable, pretty much. The things that you need anyways, you know, got a few cubbies up here so that way you can put some paperwork in there. Or yeah, whatever. yeah well, there's plenty, of, there's a ton of room in here, yeah. you know. Yeah, yeah. I like the table because a lot of them don't have that table, you know. They have a drawer yes, or whatever yeah. that pulls out, but that's nice. You know? Yeah, yeah. Most most trucks they don't uh, they don't actually have a, have a table like that. Just sort yeah. of slide in and out. Is that how it? And been? the way it actually works is you lift it up and and it basically folds into the side to uh, to the other side oh, there. Right. You can see the straps are on the other side there, and uh, I always just leave it down. But yeah, you can change the mattress if you want and. Yeah. Nice, nice little system. I like to sleep up there. That way, I don't have to fold my right. fold my table in. and just don't roll out. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, yeah. I guess that guy is trying to back in. I think it's a guy. Yeah. Yeah, so jukebox, if you uh, want to do flat tag, I guess we got a flat tag right beside us here, right? Eh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's, he might be going into flat tag, he's saying. Yeah, he'll eh? enjoy that in the wintertime, too. Yeah, I done it for a year and two months, and I always said to myself, uh, if I can find another job, I'll do another job. Not that flat tag is a bad idea for somebody that likes it, I guess it's good, but... What I hate it when it's 40 below zero and you yeah. got a tarp, an untarp. In the wind. Or or in the wind, or when it's raining outside and you got to deliver yeah. something to the farmer's field and you're taking a tarp out and you're folding it right there in the mud, you know? <laughs> he said he did it before, though. Yeah, he did, yeah, he said, yeah. Yeah. Well, I guess if he likes it, he can, he can do it. We need people that can do it, right? Because... <laughs> Uh, Don't come to Buffalo. Yeah. Come to Buffalo when we have a snowstorm, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. You want to see the outside of the truck? Or yeah, let's go take a look outside. Yeah. yeah. All right. A little bit of a bigger That's motor. A big one. <laughs> Cummins. Yeah. That's actually a small block. Yeah. Yeah. This is actually only a 400, 400 horse. There's actually bigger ones out there. There's uh, motors out there at 650, 700 horsepower. And this one is only a 400. I mean, it's turned up to 475. Like, you can turn it up at the computer, but yeah, it's a big motor. And uh, so you guys will get to see that too. <laughs> we'll show you my motor a little bit. I had it washed there yesterday, so she's looking pretty good yet. I, I was kind of wondering I, uh, if I had an oil leak in there or not but I had this hose this is what the uh, vent hose uh, I had that changed there just last week uh, because it was all cracked and it was all getting oily over here you know oh, yeah. so I wasn't sure if it was from that or if I actually had an oil leak but it looks fairly dry in there now so I'm imagining how many uh, how many miles are on it I got, got it I got it in kilometers but I calculated it just the other day and it is uh, thir uh, one million three hundred and somewhat oh, wow. miles on it already. Yeah, yeah. I did a lot of oil fix, uh, oil leak fixes last year on it. Put a lot of stuff on it. Replaced these lines, you know, these oil 
Yeah. Oil pump lines and stuff like that. And a lot of things have been done to a truck. But... Yeah. I try to keep it in good shape, you know. What year is it? 07. 07. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, sir. Put these tires on here just before winter. Still looking pretty good. You get yeah. a lot of miles out of a set of tires, don't you? Yeah. They, uh... I actually do get a get a good amount. Had my uh, fuel uh, rebuilt there this last week as well. Like the inside of the uh, fuel was. Uh, pin and all that. Yeah, well, the pin is on the on the trailer, right? But uh, the uh, the the Turn jaws the pin, and all, yeah, that's what I yeah mean. all the jaws and all that in there. And then I put new uh, slack adjusters, like right there where you see uh, for the brakes. They're a little hard to see right now because they're. Covered. Oh yeah, you were saying that. Yeah, yeah. yeah I put new uh, slack adjusters in there, and I was having a problem with the ABS sensor on this one here, and they ran new. Uh, no lines all the way from the front of the truck all the way to the back here you see the wire. the wire going in there that's basically for the abs sensor in there and that was giving me problems every time i drive in wet conditions it would uh it would act up you know but now yeah, these tires they look good yet <laughs> they're gonna hopefully get me another three years out of these tires i had the same tires on last time too it did really good Eight for me. Tires, that's a lot of. A lot of juice, yeah. Yeah. $611 a tire. Just for the tire. Yeah. And then you gotta install it. All that. I balanced them all. Got them all balanced. Yeah. That's my uh, air conditioning unit yeah. there in the back there for my APU unit. And the APU is over. Over on this passenger side, yeah. Yeah. Forward What's that? Back buried in here. Yeah, it's buried in here. Yeah. We'll put our camera up here. Let <laughs> folds down. Yeah. It's a nice little fold like that. And this is where we got the APU unit. It's got a little diesel engine in there as well. Yeah. So and you take this off. To... I'm not sure how they did it. I mean, Thermal King installed it for me and. I think they do, they done an awesome job for me, you know. And if you look, well, if you look right there, you can see some lines going through there. Yeah. And those are actually antifreeze lines, and they go cool. actually right here to the motor. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see it. Yeah, I think you can. If you look right here, there's the one line coming in uh, or out right here. Right. I think so this that one keeps goes, it. Uh, go keeps the it one. Warm. There's one that goes all the way in the back there. I don't know if that's even visible from here right now. It doesn't look like it. But that's where the antifreeze pumps it in and it comes all the way through here and it runs it through the motors in the winter. So that way my, my engine doesn't freeze. You know, keeps it keeps it about 130 degrees. So you know it's gonna it start. It by itself? Yeah, it's got a sensor for the battery. It also charges my battery. So when, uh, see I leave my lights on quite a few times. Uh -huh. And when the battery gets a little bit lower, it, uh, Goes it starts, yeah, it starts itself up and charges, charges everything up. And then, yeah, very nice system. I like it. You know, it's... I gotta close the. Oh yes. Uh, <laughs> it's got the right here. Yeah, it's got the exhaust right there. Do you use much fuel? Uh, they say uh, if you run about 2,000 hours a year on average, you'll use about $128 a month. That's what oh, that's Thermo King says. I don't know. Uh, I don't know the exact numbers, but that's what they claim. But up here in Pennsylvania, we're not allowed to idle these big engines if you're not a clean idle uh, oh, engine. All right. Yeah. Uh -huh. So then you know what you, you want to have that. Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, that's the. Uh, that's not that loud. You know, well, you can, that's what I, mean, I compared think. Compared to having that running. Well, yeah, but I still have my neighbor complaining about it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, my neighbor still complains about it. I can't even run it at night at home anymore because neighbor complained about it. Said he told me no, you can't run it anymore. Yeah. Anyways, that's what it looks like, and we'll do you close. Want to leave this home, or do you? Uh, 
leave it at the. No, I I, I take it home all the time. Take it home. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's why I was saying the neighbor neighbor don't like it when I have it running. Can you plug it in? Uh, no, not this one. Most of the uh, Volvos they will have a uh, plug-in on this side, right where you uh, see this cut cut right here. This is usually where, uh, or, or right there, there's another cut right there. Uh -huh. That's usually where the Volvo will have a plug-in. And uh, this is actually an American truck. This, this truck has actually got the speedometer in miles. Oh, all right. Yeah, and so uh, I guess because it ran south all the time, they, they, didn't, didn't. they didn't put the, the block heater in there. So, so because I knew that, that's one of the biggest reasons why I right away decided I was gonna get me the, the APU unit in there. Because that's more better for me anyways, you know? Yeah. Saves the big engine and plus I don't have to worry about all these anti-law, anti-idling laws and all that, right? But anyways, it's fairly windy out here, guys. I have the dead cat on my mic today. And we'll see, I guess, how that turns out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, we'll go ahead and get out of here. And uh, I guess we'll say goodbye. Or on camera anyways. Yeah. He doesn't Thank have to leave. <laughs> Hey, it was nice meeting you. Nice to meet you too. And, I appreciate uh, it. Hey, anytime we come through here, we'll give you a give you a shot. Now we have more places where we we got a layover yeah. like this. We can meet up. Just give somebody. me a holler, yeah. yeah. So uh, with that being said, we'll get out of here and then uh, we'll do a little more chatting with him.